evening, everyone. Welcome to Stitchfield. There is no loyalty inside the Democrat Party. I mean, the walls are caving in on Joe Biden. We're getting word now that upwards of 24 House Democrats will now be calling for Joe Biden to get out of the way and let someone else run for the presidency. This is we hear from the New York Times. The New York Times cites talking to a very close ally of Joe Biden who says that Joe Biden told him that he understands that if he doesn't turn things around, he might not be able to carry the Democrats back into the White House again, and he understands stepping down may be a real possibility. That from the New York Times, the White House denies it, but still not good for Joe Biden. So then they start to march him out in public. How does that work? It never works very well when Joe Biden goes out in public. Do you believe on the eve of July 4th, This is the direction he has to take that speech. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. Another reminder of why it's so important to know our history, not to erase our history, to remember the sacred cause of American democracy and not make up a lost cause to justify evil of slavery, to remember the nation that George and Philip fought for and died for, the United States of America. That's who we are. That's who we are. The United States of America, there's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity in the United States if we work together. Justify slavery? Who in the world is justifying slavery? And oh, look who's in the room. It's Hunter Biden, lo and behold, who's been sitting in on, quote, top level meetings. You want to turn the White House around? I'm not sure you have a crack addict come and sit in on top level meetings. But he's talking about justifying slavery. This is all they have of trying to accuse Republicans, President Trump, of being a racist. Now, we're getting word of a staff leak that the White House staff is now fully behind Kamala Harris, that the White House knows Joe Biden has to step down. Now, if anybody had to step into Joe Biden's shoes from our perspective, from President Trump's perspective, Kamala Harris is is the best. She's probably even more easily beatable than Joe Biden is. Kamala Harris was asked about this today. Just this morning, Congressman Doggett said that he's calling on President Biden to withdraw from the race, given that there's too, there's too much at stake to risk a Trump victory. What's your response to this? Look, Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once and we're going to beat him again, period. Are you ready to lead the country if necessary? I am proud to be Joe Biden's running mate. Thank you. Right now, our approval rating is around 30, 39 percent. That's horrible. I think it's worse than Joe Biden's approval rating. So not good. Now, the question becomes, if it's not Kamala Harris, who is it? All kinds of challenges here, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on the program. But you've got the money issue. How do you take the campaign funds given to Joe Biden, give them to somebody else? I don't think you can. He's got over $200 million in cash on hand. There's the states and whether or not you can replace someone on the ballot. And then, of course, how are you going to recruit someone to be a sacrificial lamb that will end up being beaten by President Trump? No rising star in the Democrat Party is going to want to take that on. So what are we left with? We're left with lame excuses from Joe Biden. We're told he had jet lag, even though he spent a week at Camp David after flying back from Europe. We're told he had a cold, yet he was on no cold medicine. Now we get reports that he's only active in the White House between 10 and 4. That's right, between 10 and 4. So Corrine Jean-Pierre was asked about that. I have an afternoon nap every day. Let me be very clear about this. This is a president that wakes up every morning and puts the American people first. What does the president do outside the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m.? Well, you heard him speak to supporters yesterday outside of 4 4 p.m. You have heard you saw the president land in North Carolina in the middle of the night at 2 o'clock. What was he doing? He was greeting supporters. (laughs) Do you know how bad it is when you have the White House press corps asking if your boss takes a nap in the afternoon. And then the next follow-up question is, what does he do outside of the hours between 10 and 4? And her answer is he greets people. 
it's bad for the White House. Now, this was a statement released by Joe Biden, because, of course, you can't get it out from talking about it. And it reads, the past few days have been tough. I'm sure you're getting a lot of calls, and I'm sure many of you have questions as well. Let me say this as clearly as I possibly can and as simply and straightforward as I can. I am running, says Joe Biden. He goes on to tell his supporters and donors, I am the nominee of the Democratic Party. No one's pushing me out. I'm not leaving. I'm in this race to the end, and we're going to win because when Democrats unite, we always win. Sorry, Joe. Not this time around. Not going to happen. You know, I know this is really bad for Joe, because when you got guys like James Clyburn, who was the architect of Joe Biden's victory the last time around, now showing signs of weakness, now showing signs of, well, maybe Kamala is the heir apparent. This is trouble for Joe. Roll it. How would you feel if they worked around and tried to go around Kamala Harris because of her lack of high poll numbers and popularity and broadly based uh, do you think it's hers to have if it is not his? I will support her uh, if he were to step aside. <laughs> that was not his answer last week. His answer last night, last week was we were all crazy. Now, it gets worse every day, as I mentioned, for Joe Biden. He's got an interview coming up on Friday with George Stephanopoulos, a Democrat insider who now works for ABC, as you know. He's going to do a sit-down interview, taped, not live, and only 15 minutes, as if this is going to rescue his career somehow. And then the strangeness of Joe Biden is always on display when he goes into public. Look at this. What is he doing? He's caressing a man's arm. That poor dude getting his arm caressed by Joe Biden, it's nothing short of disgusting. This is what you get from the man in the Oval Office today, and it is Sad, maddening, makes you angry, makes you fearful for our national security, all of it. All of it a sign, we need President Trump back and back sooner than later. 